Hey, hey guys, Mayor Modeler here. Well, a year ago, I posted a kit review of the Hasegawa 172nd Scale Liberator. And I titled that video, Just Re-Release It. Um, there was a gap in the market at the time, and yeah, you couldn't get hold of them. As you can tell by the box that it sat on, Airfix have filled that gap. So, without further ado, let's have a little look inside the box. Well, first impressions then. Uh, yeah, looks good. Now, we've already seen this box art, so we knew this was coming. But yeah, it's great actually seeing the box itself. And here's my hand to give you a bit of an idea how big this is. So, yeah, let's have a look inside, because that's the bit I'm interested in. Well, the first thing you are confronted with is a rather large sprue bag. Then we have another sprue bag and a third sprue bag. Our instructions and deco sheet and color call out. Okay, we'll have a look at those in a moment because what I want to have a look at is the plastic. Okay, let's start with the wings. Um, there's quite a wingspan on this aircraft. And what we're looking for is some really nice, crisp detailing. And straight away, you can see that there. Really quality riveting there. Really nice panel lines. Also on this sprue, we have the superchargers and the Bombay doors. It looks like we've got the option of having the flaps open as well, which is great. We've got separate tires from the wheels, so that's going to be really good. Um, let's just compare that to the Hasegawa kit. So you can see the riveting panel line details there are all present. So, yeah, the uh, the idea of just re-release it still stands, but it looks as though Airfix have done essentially that. Um then let's have a look at these engines because I'm expecting some really nice detail on these. And that's looking pretty good. Then the propellers looking rather crisp. And then the engine areas So far, so good. Let's have a look at the meaty section then. The fuselage. So again, we have very crisp panel lines there. Some riveting detail. Similarly on the tailplane as well. So immediately, this is equally as good as the Hasegawa kit. I would say, um, and it looks as though we've got different tail options, um, which is not a surprise because I'm expecting different boxings of this, including the Coastal Command RAF one. Um, but yeah, here we have some um, undercarriage detail. The interior definitely looks a step up from the Hasegawa one and it looks like we build a bit of a, a frame which the wings then attach to so again that's really great to see really lovely detail this is looking good here's the inside of the fuselage Again, very nice indeed. Final bag of bits then. Um, you can see this nose section is a separate sprue. 
and I suspect that this will be the bit that gets replaced sprue F as we get the different um, aircraft options, different marks depicted. Then we have our bombs here and what looks like oxygen canisters there. The guns with holes in the barrel so that's really good to see um, and the ammunition belts there very nice here's the clear parts sprue there's two of these and again it looks really nice and crisp and then here's the second sprue so again you can see we've got two different canopy options looking good right let's see how this comes together typical of airfix then we've got the information about the aircraft in different languages and we've got our nice color booklet we've got our assembly icon instructions and as you would expect we start work on the cockpit area so we build our dashboard, we've got a couple of seats there, we've got our 25 grams of nose weight and then a further 30 grams of nose weight here. So that's nicely depicted. 15 stages and all we've done is worked on a nose area. I do love Airfix's instructions, step by step very clear arguably the clearest instructions on the market at the moment it has to be said um here's those um oxygen canisters very nice and then yes we are building a frame area for the wings to attach to lots of really nice interior detailing there it's a shame that you see so little of it um I think, you know, on the social media platforms, you will be seeing lots of really highly detailed work being done by some top modelers, only to then close it up again and see none of it. <laughs> but, you know, that's the nature of being a modeler sometimes. Yeah, so this is all looking really nice. Step by step gradually building it up before finally on stage 42 we close that up together then the nose that we built gets attached and then we're turning our attention to the bombay or we can have the bombay doors closed then we work on the tailplane and the wings that's pretty cool then the engines and superchargers go together gills closed or gills open very nice to see And yes, we have flaps open or closed options. This is looking very nice indeed. Wings go on. You then got something that looks like a liberator. Then the flying option or the undercarriage down. wheels going together and it looks like they are um, sit flat wheels which is great weight on tires I suppose I should say then nose goes on then we're turning our attention to the turrets ball turret there I think they've taken a lot of um, inspiration from the b17 kit 
Um, make sure you go and check out that video I did um, at the start of the year, the kit comparison between the Airfix and Ravel B17 as part of my Masters of the Air series. Then the propellers go on. Got a ladder there, which is really nice. So you've got an access hatch open. Fabulous. That would also help with the stopping it being a tail sitter. If you didn't get enough nose weight in, at least you've got the ladder option to save you there. Well, so far, this is definitely living up to expectation. Um, here is the box art corky. And that's a really nice scheme, that. It has to be said. This is not the one I'm going to be doing it in. Um, I'm going to go for something a little bit more colourful. Bit of artistic licence, but um, yeah, it's going to look good. I am looking forward to seeing what other boxings Airfix produce, though. Um, because we've also got this Italian option. Now, both of these are 1944 which is great. Um, you've got the 80th anniversary of both of these aircraft depicted. So very nice and topical, very timely. And yeah, looking really nice. Last bit to look at then is the decals. And these are from Cartograph. So we know there's going to be nothing wrong with them. And as you can see, bright, vibrant colours, very crisp, hardly any carrier film there. Yeah, well, I think Airfix have really delivered. And yes, I am a little disappointed because I've now got to build this and that is going to completely disrupt my build schedule. Um, so yeah, I'm slightly annoyed. As for the kit itself, it looks bloody brilliant and can't wait to build it. Catch you on the next one, guys.